This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. Good morning, everybody. I was going to talk for a second about button battery ingestions and specifically possible home initial first aid treatments. As some of you may know, button batteries are those little batteries in many electronics that are round silver buttons, and they are becoming more and more ubiquitous as we have more and more little electronic devices everywhere. And the problem with them is that sometimes kids think that they are fun things to swallow, and they get stuck in the esophagus, and they can be extremely dangerous within in about one or two hours, they can start causing significant tissue breakdown, erosion of the esophagus, esophageal perforations. They can be terrible injuries or potentially fatal. So obviously, you know, they need to get recognized, they need to come in, and we need to have those batteries removed by a GI specialist. But there's been questions as to whether there's anything that can be done in the meanwhile to reduce the extent of burns and the significance. So this is a kind of a very cool study that looked at button batteries placed into cadaver pig esophagi, and they looked at various things you could have at home to see what substances might reduce the extent of the burns. They looked at jam, honey, milk, cola, orange juice, and a saline placebo, and they found that honey was probably the best, and it significantly reduced the extent of local corrosion and the burns. Jam was also very helpful, so if you have somebody call or if there's some question, honey, which is used for many things in the emergency department, you can add it to the list of uh, medical first aid of honey can reduce the severity of the burns. In the emergency department, another thing that has been looked at is caraphate, which is used for gastritis sometimes, can be used to temporarily reduce the extent. So these things can be terrible. So in the emergency department, we need to really identify them and think of them as emergencies. They can be life-threatening, but at home, people can use honey or jam to reduce the severity of the burns. Thanks, guys. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.